Good morning and when today, children of God. When today, tomorrow, when forever, in Jesus' mighty name. We thank Father Jesus for protecting us. You are welcome. May God bless you while you're listening. Subscribers, I thank you. And those who subscribe, I said I will thank you until, until. Children of God and you who followed me, may God bless you. I feel honored because you follow me, you subscribe. So what more can I ask? And may God bless you forever. May God fall just to listen on what I'm saying because he sent me. May he bless you, children of God. May the light of God follow you wherever you are going. In Jesus' mighty name. We have our script today, our daily devotion. We're given to the book of Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. There at the start. Second Chronicles at the yes. And it's that uh, verse um, Second Chronics, Chronicles verse um what is the verse here? I think it's verse six. Yeah, we're given Second Chronic Chronicles six, starting from verse 40, 41 and forty two is a proof text. Children of God will read it attentively, slowly and repeatedly. May God bless you for listening. Let's Pray and welcome the Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come and take control. Jesus, we need your deliverance and we need your finger, Lord, to protect your children. Open our heart while we're listening. Let all the message be engraved in our heart so that, Father, we can speak with you. So that, Father, we can meditate upon those words. Father, open our hearts. Release our hearts from all anger, gratis malice, from all non-perseverance, and all, Father, that is giving us the things that is ungodly, jealous, and the rest. Father, give us love and calmness, love and calmness, to love all the children of God, calmness in our hearts, calmness in order to receive the blood of Jesus flow from head to toe, the blood, the fire blood flow, flow from head to toe, open our heart in Jesus' mighty name as we read the word. Thank you, Father. Children of God, Second Chronicles 6, starting from verse, sorry, from verse 41 to 42. Sorry, from verse 40 to 42. It is about Solomon. That was Solomon's prayer. So we have given that verse. From verse 40, it reads this. Now, my God, I pray, let your eyes be open. Let your ears be attentive. To the prayer made in this place. Now, my God, I pray, let your eyes be open and let your ears be attentive to the prayers made in this place. Prayers made in the place, me and you, the prayers that we are, we are busy now with. Let our God have attentive, open the eyes the, and the ears and listen and see because. While I'm praying, while you are praying, he has to descend. Let him open the eyes if he don't descend and listen to what we are praying and asking. That's what Solomon is saying here in Jesus' mighty name. Now we go to 41. Now, therefore, therefore, arise, O oh God, to your resting place. You and the ark of your strength. Let your priest, O oh Lord God, be clothed with salvation. And let your saints rejoice in goodness. Verse 42. O oh Lord God, do not turn away the face of your anointed. Remember the message of your servant David. Solomon was asking Father God to listen to these prayers. Solomon was praying. I'm praying today that Father God must listen to the prayers of his anointed children. Me and you. Father God must forgive all our sins this morning. 
Father God must listen to our heart desire. Father God must listen to the prayers that we are praying, even though we don't know how to pray according to the way you want us to pray. I pray that Father God listen to these prayers. Let he see in his eyes how our face are full of shame, full of confusion. We don't know sometimes how must we pray. We don't know how sometimes we ask ourselves if our prayers are reaching heaven. Father God, may he listen and teach us on how to pray. And teach us on how to become. And teach us to become and release anger in our hearts in order to receive. May he teach us that our hearts doesn't harbor with darkness. That Satan every day fight to put darkness in our heart. So that we can be his evil agents. May he resist our father in this prayer that we are praying, that Solomon was praying, all what Satan, the, all the weight, all the direction that he's using to pull us to become his. Forty-two. Oh Lord, do not turn away the face on our anointed. May Father God not turn his face to us. May he redirect his path to me and you to live the way you want us to live. May Father God teach us what we don't know in Jesus' mighty name. Remember the message of your servant, David. David did sins, even adultery with Bathsheba, Bas, Basteba, Basteba, I don't know how to spell it. You must pardon me. Who was a wife to his great servant in a war, a warrior. That's the husband of Basteba. But because David saw her, her bathing and he have lust on her and he go and commit adultery. But for the God, you have forgiven David. Father, I pray that you forgive me and my group, me and the person who's listening. Father, remove that sin. Purify us. Do not hide your face from us. In Jesus' mighty name. That's what Solomon was praying there. And even praying for his, the, the priest, all the God's servants, that God must close us with the salvation. And he even says in verse 41, let your saints rejoice in goodness. Father, have mercy on us and put the shame of the wicked, evil people that are planning to kill, steal, and destroy, that are blocking, that are tormenting their families, my family. Close them with shame. Give us rejoice and gladness, my father. That is the book of Second Chronicles from verse 40 and 42. Read it slowly and repeat it. And call your father to come and change you. Call your father to listen to you, not to go to look on the side without listening. Call your father to redirect your path, child of God. It's very important. Call him to give you rejoice in everything. Not the good one only. Even the bad one because that bad one is to train you. To change the level. To go high and high. is to train you to be strong in the Lord. Children of God. When you read it, open your heart and allow him to use you. To open and remove so that you can receive. To remove everything that Satan is using as a, a loophole to connect and torment you. Children of God, Satan uses a small thing. That noise. That lack of peace. That's why I always pray the heart. 
the malice, the grudges, I'll show him. The jealous, why me? Why them, not me? Satan used that one. Once he planted it, he will drag you slowly and use it, drag you and pierce you and make you feel the pains. Children of God, why do you read this word? It's to teach us to remove every day those things. Let's remove it. That's why a day cannot pass without you asking God to forgive you. Tell him that work in my heart. Because once he use that, then you pollute a lot of things in your body. After that anger, he will pollute hate. From there, he call you a demon of hate. He use you at night, you don't know, you wake up tired. Where there's someone who is a jealous to someone, he sent you to say, date, now because you are my demon, go and finish that one. Every day in the morning you ask yourself, well, I'm tired. You are used at night. Resist it, child of God. Resist it, you have been chosen. You bear the mark of your father, you. That's why you are praying. That's why you believe. That's why you trust in him. That's why you always are. I call him to be working with you. Resist the child of God. When you go astray, ask him to redirect your path. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray. Father, this is the morning and the day that you have made. We are alive. Thank you. Holy Spirit, you are breathing. Thank you. Father, we thank you for the testimony of life. Every darkness, demonic spirits that are operating on your children's heart, that small avenue that Satan is using to pull them, to destroy them, to torment their life, to make them useless, physical and spiritual, be broken, get out. I break you by the power of the Lord. Come out from them. Out in Jesus' mighty name. Every avenue that you open in the heart to torment their career, to torment their marriages, be broken in Jesus' mighty name. You torment their life, their health, be broken. I bend that avenue. With the roots, I destroy you. Come out from the children of God. That avenue to torment and frustrate their marriages, be broken or goes fire. To block all their marriages, there are partners not to, to bury them. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out. I burn your roots. Release them in Jesus' mighty name. That are they new. To block all. There are partners not to marry them. Be broken. I disconnect you. Holy Ghost, fire come out. Holy Ghost, fire be destroyed. Leave the children of God. In Jesus' mighty name. There are they new. To make them to be impatient to sleep when they read the Bible. What about fire be destroyed? Come out, leave them. You, when you pray, you fall asleep. I break it, disconnect it. Come out from them. You, child of God, I can see you. When you read one verse, you become drowsy. What about fire? Fire, I break you. Leave the child of God out, you darkness. He must speak with his father, Jesus. Be broken. You are the new and blockage of Satan that you are using to block them to speak with the Father. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Avenue of shouting their children and their family being noisy. I paralyze you. You will never make the child of God your agent. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. I close and break this avenue. Come out from their lives. Out, you Satan. You are a demon. I burn where you are coming from, your convent, your altars. I release the Holy Ghost, I destroy you. Get out from their lives. You are having you operating in their finances. You hidden their purses. Their purses are full of darkness. I send a fire in those places. I release finances in those places. I break the linkage in that places. Come out on their purse. Because it all the bank cards. I release breakthrough on those cards. The past to be filled with their finances that you stole. I reject the spirit of stealing. Holy Ghost, fire breakthrough. 
at work. Breakthrough at our workplace. Positions higher and higher at workplace. Breakthrough prosperity, I declare. And our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Father, arrows, darkness, evil traps, the plan of darkness and witches, and all principalities to torment them because now is during the day. You arrows, you shall never reach them. Go back where you are sent. You demonic arrows, evil witchcraft arrows, go back and pierce your sand. These ones are children of God. Out in their lives, be broken and go back and pierce their sand. In Jesus' mighty name. Blood sucking demons. Evil birds sucking our anointing. Cast the Reynold Ghost from here to two. Reynold Ghost in your crown. Reynold Ghost all over your body. Your fingers. I break your fingers. I break all your legs. Be broken your tentacles. Be broken and burn and die. In Jesus mighty name. Evil birds. Evil demons. Sucking anointing. Sucking the glory of God. Prosperity. You suck prosperity. You are wicked. Fire in your crown. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. I paralyze you. I burn your crown. I burn your back. I burn your legs. I burn your tentacles. Fire burning sulfur on your mouth. In Jesus' mighty name, you will stop to suck all the breakthrough and all the talent of the children of God. Get out and die. Burn and die. I pour the burning self, the call of fire, on top of your head, your legs, all over. And when I burn you, let your sand be full of burn in the kingdom, in the altars, on the convent. Let them burn and be, I render them powerless in Jesus' mighty name. Father, protect them where they sit at their desk. They are cars. Every day principalities don't waste time. Any darkness serpents, when they drive, they fly high, follow the monitoring spirit, fall down and die out in their lives. Receive the power, child of God, to break those yokes. I break those yokes. I make them to fall down and break the wings. Die, you flying serpent. I pull you down by the power that goes in Jesus' mighty name. Release the children of God. The light of God to follow them wherever they go. The blood of Jesus. I soak with them. Let the light of God follow them. I soak them. Power, glory. Anointing the light of God. Take the grace of God. I see you conquer for the day. I see you protected for this day. I see the light of God striking those arrows and pace to send it back to the sand. I see the hand of God burning all the traps in Jesus' mighty name. I see ye the angels uprooting wherever you move. I can see them wiping with the anointing wherever you touch in Jesus' mighty name. May God bless you. Today is Thursday. You will wait patiently for the prayer of late, the prayer that is coming, it's all about adults and ancestral spirits and marine spirits. It is three and one thing, but it's initially about idol spirits from your father's side, your mother's side. We have to break the stronghold today. May God bless you. While you are praying this morning, read the word before you go to bed. Read it again and give praises to your master. He deserves our king, the king of glory. Praises and worship. Worship him with songs. When you worship, you are praying. Do whatever that will draw death and down and descend the Holy Spirit. Shalom.